the iconic catchphrase that's heard worldwide. Through their over 50-year tenure as a company, Nike has become more than just an apparel brand. They have become a pop culture icon. Let's check out why Nike, becoming the most powerful brand in the world. Number 7. A name from another dimension. To begin with, Nike is the top-selling athletic shoe brand in the world, commanding 48% of the athletic footwear market in the US and 31% globally. So it makes sense that athletic shoe stores would display more of that brand than any other. Simple supply and demand. But how did Nike get to be the top-selling shoe? And how has it kept that spot for so long? Nike was founded in 1964 by Bill Bowerman, a track and field coach at the University of Oregon, and his former student Phil Knight. The company was first called Blue Ribbon Sports. Still, Phil wanted to rebrand his company after breaking up with their Japanese shoemaker in 1971. After some soul-searching, Phil wanted a name that made it clear to the world who they were and what they stood for. At first, the new name was going to be Dimension 6. Strangely enough, Jeff Johnson, the company's first employee, called the office on the day the patent was due and told Knight he'd seen the word Nike in a dream. The word Nike is a reference to the Greek goddess of victory. Even though Phil and his team didn't go through a thoughtful naming process, the name is still strategic and represents the brand's competitive nature. Number 6. The Iconic Swoosh During the rebranding period, Phil went to Portland State University and hired the first graphic arts student he could find. At first, Carolyn Davidson designed mock-ups of charts and graphs for presentations. Eventually, she got the job of creating the new logo. Carolyn charged $35 for the iconic swoosh logo, worth $26 billion today. Initially, Knight didn't love it, but he was sure it would grow on him. In 1980, Phil rewarded Carolyn 500 shares of Nike stocks, which she has never sold and are worth around $1 million today. The idea behind the swoosh is a visual representation of motion and speed, evoking the image of a sprinter flying off the block. Over time, the logo has been mixed with different graphic treatments and fonts, but the swoosh has stayed the same for more than 50 years. It's simple, distinct, and appropriate for its target audience. Number 5. A tagline with a dark source of inspiration. Just do it must be one of the most famous and empowering taglines ever created. However, only a few know that a chilling story inspired it. In 1987, Nike hired Wheaton Plus Kennedy an advertising agency, to help them with their first major television campaign. In an interview for the documentary film Art & Copy, Dan Whedon, founder of the agency, tells how he came up with the tagline. In the documentary, Whedon recalls that each of their commercial spots was made by different creative teams and were vastly different from each other. In reviewing the work the night before the client presentation, he felt he needed a tagline to give some unity to the project one that spoke to the hardcore athletes and those taking morning walks. He suddenly remembered Gary Gilmore, a serial killer, who said, let's do it right before a firing squad executed him in 1977. Whedon was amazed by Gilmore's ability to push through that experience. He then changed, let's do it, to just do it, because the former sounded like it included someone else, while the latter was like your conscience telling you something. All things considered, just do it is brilliant, simple, clear, concise, and above all, empowering. Number 4. Nike Competitors Nike competitors include Adidas, New Balance, Skechers USA, Steve Madden, and A6 America. Nike ranks first in employee net promoter score on comparably VS's competitors. See below how Nike compares to its competitors with CEO rankings, product and services, NPS, pricing, customer services, overall culture score, EMPS, gender and diversity scores. The biggest competitor of Nike is Adidas, the footwear and sportswear brand that was created in Germany in 1949. With $15 billion in revenues and about 57,000 employees, it is positioned second in the global market behind Nike. Besides holding the most valuable brand in this market, Nike is the leader of the sports footwear segment with 27.4% of the global market share and 77,000 employees. Since its founding, Nike has expanded across the world and its brand value has increased year-on-year, year, 
since 2010 to around $34.4 billion in 2020. It dropped by 60% in Q4 of 2020 amid the crisis and stiff competition. Nike also fends off several competitors across different sectors from footwear, sports apparel, athleisure, casual wear, and accessories. It has maintained a strong presence worldwide. The company enjoys heavy popularity in various corners of the globe. Some of the key factors that have helped Nike build a strong reputation and create a differentiated brand image include product quality, innovation, customer experience, and a strong focus on marketing. Over the past few years, Nike has been strategically investing in digital technology to strengthen its competitive advantage and cement its market position. Competition in the sports shoes and apparel industry has kept growing more and more intense as the battle for market share among the sports shoes and apparel brands has grown fiercer. Nike has grown its focus on innovation, customer experience, marketing, and quality. Nike is facing strong competition from several rivals, including brands making only athleisure products or sports apparel apart from the direct competitors that make sports shoes for various sports activities. However, its competitive edge has continued to improve as the company is investing more in technology and customer engagement. Overall, Nike has successfully retained its market leadership. Number 3. Nike Net Worth Currently, Nike is said to be worth an eye-watering $34.35 billion, and the worth of Nike's complete assets is said to be $23.26 billion. Nike currently has more than 700 shops around the world and offices that are spread across four to five countries beyond America. With Nike being such a success story ever since it first got its start on the west coast of America, there's no doubt that it will continue to do better in the future. Nike net income for the 12 months ending February 28, 2022 was $6.116B, a 78.41% increase year over year. Nike annual net income for 2021 was $5.727B, a 125.56% increase from 2020. Nike annual net income for 2020 was $2.539B, a 36.98% decline from 2019. Nike annual net income for 2019 was $4.029B, a 108.43% increase from 2018. Number 2. Why do people love Nike? The brand. Brand is everything. Everyone talks about the brand and image of a company. Nike has more than just a brand, it has a cult following. Sneakerheads still go crazy over a pair of Nike Dunk style shoes or even the Air Force ones, which are still going strong in numerous different colors, even though the style was originally introduced way back in the early 80s. Then there is the company's Jordan brand. Michael Jordan is arguably the best basketball player and maybe even athlete of all time and his shoes are more than just popular, they are ridiculously collectible. Nike could never introduce another style of shoe and most likely still dominate just by re-releasing their more successful older styles. The same can't be said for most competitors. Not only has Nike been a trendsetter, but the shoe giant also seems to find a way to make the best use of existing trends. Shoppers today are focused on health and wellness, and more people are buying athletic shoes so they can exercise. They realize exercise is as important as a healthy diet. Number 1. The Bottom Line Nike is dominating and is transitioning into the digital world nicely. The move into digital doesn't seem like a durasifying scenario, but complements the company with Xbox integration, seemingly giving them a head start over competitors such as Under Armour as well. The company has a ridiculously strong catalog of shoe designs that are popular with cult-like collectors that can be released and re-released over and over again in different color ways. The company also tends to attract the best of the best when it comes to sponsoring athletes. On any pullback, the company would make a great long-term buy, as Nike will continue to dominate its competitors and remain a global juggernaut. The company will also more than likely continue to grow and raise dividends in turn rewarding shareholders nicely. Do let us know in the comments if you own any pair of Nike. Thanks for watching.